You guys ready? Yep. Let's go. So, coach, this is just how you planned it, right? You planned exactly. It three goals, clean sheet. So, um, <laughs> it, I don't know that you could have asked for, for a better start, at least on, on, the, on the scoreboard. Yeah. Um, how do you feel just in, in general? I mean, the score is good. Yeah, I mean, for us, right? I mean, I think someone said something we had like 11 new players in it. You know, this year, so I didn't realize I had that many new players, but um, it's good to get those guys out. And, you know, we're just trying to develop our way, and our way takes time, and to get the goals today, and to get, you know, Mutai on the, on the score sheet twice, which is really nice, right? Um, and get Nags on the sheet, score sheet, and Taylor was involved in all, the, all those uh, opportunities. So those are real, like, real important factors. Um, you know, the defense didn't have a ton of work to do, but you got a chance to see like what we're trying to build, right? And we, you know, we're still probably missing at least one piece for sure on the back line. So we're, you know, we, we, we got some some stuff going yet, so. How was Taylor able to set up all those opportunities, crosses into the box and to get the two goals for the first? Um, that's a good question. I mean, the way we play, right? The way we play, we, we try to use Guys like Taylor, Mutaya, Damian, uh, Juan Louis, who got in late. We try to use those guys. We kind of switched up a little bit more, a little bit different than what we did last year. So, but look, at the end of the day, players make plays. Taylor made plays, and things happen. That's just that's just my model, right? We can only do so much. I'm blanking on the player, but during our pregame uh, press conference a few days ago, it was wait till Saturday, you'll see Saturday. Is that what was in mind? It wasn't at the level that we want, but it was the idea that we wanted. And then pressing throughout the entire game, particularly up front, going through that most of the time there weren't that many touches in your guys' zone there. How were you able to make sure that you were attacking and on front foot throughout the entire game? Well, I started thinking about this the other day, right, because myself and Chris knew you were having a conversation, right, about set pieces, right? And it's like... I said, Chris, my brain, even though we want to like attack, 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 I'm really a defensive coach, but it's the offense that helps us not defend very much. So I am, I'm always on the safe side. Doesn't look like it, but my brain is always on the safe side. But we want to keep the ball, keep the ball. So we press it so that we can keep the ball and that's how we defend. Yeah, those first few minutes, it didn't, it, it didn't seem like there were, there were as many opportunities. But is that just, you're just being patient, you're waiting on your turn. Yeah, 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 we're just waiting, yeah. I mean, we, we, the one thing that we need to be is patient because we're trying to build something really special and what I want to make sure of is the new guys don't get overwhelmed early on mm -hmm. because it will come a point when the games are really intense and the games are really like, you know, every every touch matters, every everything matters in the game. We need to build into that, not the first day. Gene said he got a little nervous coming out, and it's been a while since he's gotten nervous, but with the crowd, first game, everything else, was there any of that with any of the other players with, like you said, so many new faces here? Well, that's something that we, look, we have to be concerned about because at our level, guys that haven't played at higher levels, right, they play in, in front of no one sometimes, right? Two, three, four, five, their girlfriends and their parents, right? So, and we just kept saying, hey, look, it, it's different, it's different, and, you know, it's, it's, it's special, and you just need to be ready for that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. Uh, playing against such a new team, what kind of challenge does that present when, you know, there's only so much, you know, scouting you, you, you can really do of a, a group of guys that haven't been together and you haven't been able to see the play very much. What kind of challenge does that bring to the table? It's concerning, right? Because for us, right, video is really important for us. Data is really important for us. Helps in our preparation. But again, we don't like focus on the other teams. But we need to. But we we use that to prep, right? And that's really important. So not having anything makes it a little bit nervy. But we all. But we always take the. We always take the. The idea that we do what we do to make the other team change. So if we don't know. They have to adjust to us, so that's 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 our saving grace there. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you, Coach. Thank you. Thanks. So you know, he breaks down. Sometimes he breaks down. We just have to do what to do. And you said you were nervous for a second. That it was a new time. What was that just the experience like when you walk in and bigger crowd than last year before you were here? But when you're coming in and that new stadium feel, what was that like? It was, uh, to be honest, it was amazing to see like, in the warm-up how many people was in the stand already. So it was like, when I walked out, I was like, 
okay, I was actually getting nervous. My first touch on the ball, maybe all the jitters went away, so I was like, okay, time to play now. And then being brought in here, recruited all of that, uh, for lack of a better word, and then to come in and for it to go 3 uh, nil. Just how helpful is that for the right direction to reach that ultimate goal? I mean, we don't win the championship in March, so you know, so today is like it's a good step in the right direction. So we got it. There's little things we got to work on and get better and keep improving. So right now it's like it's good. We start with a three, uh, three point clean sheet. So it's like now we have to focus on Wednesday. Wednesday is the next goal. So that's that's why we're looking forward to. Congrats on Brace. That's a, that's a, good, that's a good way to start. Um, just talk about kind of getting that first one out of your way now on the table and, and um, just what this win means to you guys. Um, I think, um, I mean, for, for starters, uh, it's always good with, uh, with the crowd. I feel like we owe them uh, when we come out to the field. So it's always good uh, to give back with the win. Uh, give them three goals. Uh, that's what they came to see. Uh, for the team, I feel like it's a, it's a, I feel like it's a build up into uh, the next, uh, next game. Uh, that's going to give us confidence. How was Taylor able to provide you service throughout the entire game to tuck in that brace? Um, I feel like it just uh, comes from training. Uh, we usually talk to each other uh, what way we want the ball, how we're going to combine. Uh, so it's just uh, from training, working together, and uh, building that chemistry. And I feel like it's going to keep going, uh, getting stronger and stronger. Uh, the first one, kind of a uh, awkward right place, right time, being able to tuck it in. Just uh, how were you able to be in that right place? I just saw the ball and uh, I was there trying to uh, hit the ball, but I was scared I was going to get hit in my head. So I tried to get out of the way and it hit me on my hip, so it counts. <laughs> Every goal counts. And then the second one was absolutely clinical in the corner. Just uh, what was that one like? Uh, just combination play and just try to uh, uh, place it. Um, Placement over power, so and it ended up working out. And then probably the best moment of the goal, the celebration. Did that just come on you? Was that the plan? Uh, I just usually do it. Uh, it just depends with the moment. Uh, it just felt great, you know, scoring two. I don't think I've ever scored two goals in my professional career, so I thought it was, uh, it was just amazing and it was just the right moment. And part of you wanted to argue, try to get the penalty at the end to try to make it a hat trick? Uh, not really, not really. Uh, we just gotta stick to the game plan. Uh, he's a penalty taker and he's our striker, so it's always good for him to get goals so he can uh, get confidence into the next game as well. All of that, but can you out wrestle Marcus? <laughs> no. <laughs> to take that kick, I mean. I'm just kidding. <laughs> and you were, we just found out that you were uh, uh, voted man of the match, so just kind of talk about you know, how good that feels to, to have that as well. Uh, feels great. Um, I feel like it was a team performance. Um, just uh, you know, 11 guys in the field and everyone else on the bench. Uh, it's just a team effort. So. You guys good? Yeah. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Is your daughter here? Yes, she is. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you.